Okay, sir, so you have to see my screen, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Bala, sir. Uh, um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to present a cutaneous PD catheter insertion using various needle. That's totally different topic. I think should have been uh, presenting with the last time, last meeting. Uh, I'll finish it off with a few slides. I'll just uh, show what is the various needle. Uh, I don't know how many people are uh, doing using the various needle technique. Uh, it was first described by Janus Perez, uh, a Hungarian physician for two TB patients long back in 1932. He used it for to collapse the infected lung and allow healing. Uh, uh, Raoul Palmer introduced it for the use in laparoscopy to establish pneumoperitoneum in early 1970s. Uh, modern needles are around 10 to 20 centimeters. It varies with the size accordingly. Uh, for the uh, for the uh, depending upon the patient, if it's a pediatric, it's around eight to twelve, and adult it from fifteen to twenty centimeters, and the external diameter is around uh, uh, two uh, two millimeters. So this is a picture of a various needle. Uh, you can see that there is a, um, a stock cock there, and there is it is through this uh, we infuse the uh, dialysis fluid or saline. And at the tip, you can see it is a blunt, uh, blunt at the tip, and there is an eye of the various needle through which the uh, fluid goes into the peritoneal cavity. And here is a uh, schematic representation which can, which is showing the uh, various needle, and it has an inner stillet, which is a spring-loaded uh, inner stillet. It can see the spring and the stopcock, and the blunted tip and the eye, and the outer cannula, which is beveled and sharp uh, tip. Uh, so this is how when we take out the various needle out, the inner stillet uh, will be like this and the it is, uh, step is blunt and there is an eye through, the, through this opening the fluid comes in and the outer which is sharp. Uh, outer, outer cannula at the tip it is beveled and sharp. So how does it work? So uh, the once you want the, the, uh, the assembly as total as uh, with the stillet in situ goes into a firm structure like an abdominal wall while it pierces. Uh, the uh, the inner uh, the inner blunt uh, stylet will go in, and the outer uh, the sharp will uh, pierce the uh, the outer sharp will pierce the abdominal structures. And uh, finally, once it enters the peritoneal cavity, the uh, inner uh, blunt will pop up pop out uh, once it is inside the free space. And this avoids the bowel injury, which is the most important and mo most important reason why we use it. See, it's some uh, the one which I have shown here. This is a reusable various needle. The one shown here is a uh, the uh, one without a uh, one without a inner stillet, and it is a single use or disposable various needle. And it is uh, we initially we were using uh, the uh, 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 single use or the disposable ones, but nowadays we don't use. We use the um, uh, reusable one. This is the kind of various needle we use in our department. I uh, can see the various needle here, and it's around 20 centimeter, and the tip is blunt. And uh, if you can see, uh, there's a lower lock there. We'll, we'll have to open it. Once you open it, you can see that uh, the yeah the inner stylet comes out, and the outer cannula, which is sharp, beveled at the tip, and the uh, blunt uh, inner stylet, and the spring also you can see. So the assembly it. The stylet goes in, and before the procedure, we should ensure that it is tightened properly. And there is a stop cock there, which can be perpendicular and straight. And you should ensure that the spring action is intact. We have to see that spring action is intact. And we have to flush also and see whether, because it's a reusable one, whether there is any obstruction, the patency should be ensured. So how does it work? So it is uh, now it is blunt at the tip. Now if you pull the uh, once you give pressure, it becomes sharp and it cuts through the tissues and goes into the peritoneal cavity. Once inside the peritoneal cavity, it will be blunt and it will not injure the bowel. So here's one video, uh, which is uh, relatively older video when we were using the uh, uh, the uh, single use. We prefer to put a uh, infra umbilical midline insertion around one to two centimeter max, and uh, do a blunt dissection until we reach the linea alba. Until the and in and around the insertion site, we do proper dissection uh, so that there is enough space for the catheter to go in as well as the cuff to go in. So once we have reached the uh, linea alba, and when we feel the board like sensation, we allow the various needle to go in. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is the this is a relatively older video. So you can see the uh, various needle. Is this a reusable one or the disposable one, which doesn't have an inner stylet? So there is minor uh, alteration from the procedure which I have mentioned. I'll show you how it is. So here you can see the operator has put the um, stop cock in the perpendicular direction, which is not in the direction with the uh, needle, and uh, a, a drop of uh, uh, saline is put on top of it. So we need to hear two click sound: one once you're piercing the linea alba, and the other one when piercing the peritoneal membrane. You'll hear two click sounds. So once now it is inside. Now we can see that uh, he is turning the uh, stopcock into the uh, uh, in, in line with the needle, so that the fluid will go in directly. That's a hanging drop test. Also, it's, it's an indirect evidence that the, it's in the peritoneal cavity, and we can connect the saline directly. The free flow of saline will also be seen. And we need to wait till uh, until for around uh, one liter saline has gone, and we have to wait till that. Sometimes it can go into the preperitoneal space. So if you can, if it's a, 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 we can squeeze and see also. Now see the guide wire. This is the problem with using a reusable one. The, the reuse, sorry. Yeah, this is a problem with the reusable one because the it's a side hole. The guide wire once it goes in, it will be difficult in going in properly. Yeah, rest of the procedure, I think last week, doctor, uh, last month, Dr. Vishal Goyal had uh, demonstrated, so I don't want to go into the detail of it. I'll skip the rest of the procedure. I'll go on to the uh, next. So this is the hanging drop test, which I was mentioning. Before the catheter goes in, we should uh, can put a drop here. And once it is inside the, uh, not the catheter, I mean the various needle, once it is inside the peritoneal cavity and the stopcock is in line with the, line with the needle, the fluid will go inside, so it has an indirect evidence that uh, the it is inside the peritoneum. So this is how the uh, how we put the uh, uh, various needle with the guide. So we can once it is in the, inside the peritoneal cavity, and once we have filled and educate fluid inside, we'll remove the inner stylet. We'll take out the inner stylet and put the inner stylet completely out, and then put the guide wire. So this is only difference within the between a reusable one and a single use one. We nowadays prefer to do all using the reusable ones. So is it various needle recommended? ASPD guidelines says that you can use an introducer needle or a 16 or 18 gauge needle, or alternatively you can use a various needle also. Uh, it's recommended. The patient selection, as for any other place, he also do the same thing: abdominal hernia. We do simultaneous abdominal hernia repair, and along with that, we put up a PD catheter and give rest to the abdomen for around four to six weeks. Start PD only four to six weeks later. Past history of peritonitis, midline laparotomy scars, uh, suspected adhesions, morbid obesity, or uh, 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 absolute or related contraindications for going for an open technique. This is the data from our center, which was published in uh, uh, Peritoneal Dials International in 2016. Uh, uh, we this this all all this around 245 patients were uh, uh, observational cohorts with, uh, uh, divided into diabetics and non-diabetics. All the all the procedures were midline sub infra umbilical uh, incision uh, with various needle and overall primary catheter non-function was around in 24 patients. That's around nine percent, which is all the literature showing uh, uh, much more than that. Incidence of overall mechanical complications were only 16 percentage. Catheter migration occurred in 5 percentage. Catheter reinsertion was required only in 8 percentage. And uh, no evidence of no, no uh, history of any bowel injury after catheter insertion. However, there was two instances of mesenteric hematoma, for one which were requiring open laparotomy. And, uh, and the most important thing which uh, I found in, uh, after this technique is uh, the mean break-in period. We could go for an ultra short break-in period in less than four days. We can start PD uh, in uh, without any catheter leak. Most of the time, we just we just had a catheter leak of around 6.5 percentage. We start low volume exchanges in supine position. Uh, we start early also. 
this is in the tabular column and as i mentioned earlier the uh, the cohort was divided into diabetic and non diabetic and uh, it was found that uh, more mechanical complications were more with the non diabetic probable explanation was the diabetic patient had a higher bmi larger abdominal cavity and lesser chances of complications and the, the most important thing the dialysis leak was only four this is all early complications early complications complications happening within first four weeks only were minimal only six percentage of early uh, dialysis leak was observed mesenteric uh, visceral injury only one mesenteric the two mesenteric tears were there and the catheter survival at catheter and technic survival at one year it is uh, more than what is uh, expected by the ispd uh, it was more than 80 percentage and even the peritoneal dialysis infection rate was also lesser this is a novel technique uh, which was recently published in Indian Journal of Nephrology by Dr. Santosh uh, He uh, It's an innovative technique of repositioning, percutaneous repositioning uh, in, in case of any mechanical complications. So the take home message is uh, applying my midline percutaneous insertion of PD cath by a various needle by treating, treating nephrologist as a good patient safety with minor procedural complication. We have in, enough evidence to support that the chance of visceral injury is uh, uh, almost nil and uh, overall early complication is minimal. Early break-in with small volume supine exchanges can be considered comparable catheter survival and technique survival at one year. Thank you.